All right, let's talk about Vanguard Cup. And look, when I first looked at the Vanguard Cup, I was like, what is going on? I'm not going to be able to make anything out of this. But, you know, since we started doing our breakdown, it's, so it's cleared it up for me. And uh, like, it doesn't seem that complicated anymore. If you don't know what we're talking about, with each of these metas that come out, we do this five minute summary video and we do a complete breakdown video where myself and GBL leaderboard player Lyle Jeffs discuss all the different matchups and analysis and team building and whatnot. So if you want to check out the video for the break complete breakdown of Vanguard Cup, you can do that here. In the meantime, here's your basics. And our starting point for deconstructing this meta was Noctowl. Because Noctowl, apart from just seeming like the most busted Pokemon in this cup, is also by far and away the most commonly used Pokemon in the practice tournaments that we have data for at the moment. So you can see in the little graphic on the top there, the little purple one, that Noctowl can only be picked in slot 4 or slot 5. And we recommend using it in slot 5 because in slot 4, you basically want a dragon. It's a it's a probably the easiest pick of the of the of the meta is slot four because with no fairies and no steals in the cup, dragons become so safe. And Dragonair and Dragalgy, they can do things with their dragon fast moves that shouldn't even be legal. Like it can Dragonair I think they both can beat Frostlass in the one shields, right? <laughs> um I think the Shadow Dragonair can beat Wall Rain in the two shields, but I might be wrong about that one. You might have to look that up. Uh, Dragonite, not as much because of reasons we'll get to later, but that's a pretty easy way to start. Dragonair or Dragalgy as your slot four Pokemon. Now, uh, we've talked about Noctowl being the biggest, most popular Pokemon. The way to counter that, people will be using either Regirock, Regice, or War Rain, and we think probably War Rain will be the most popular, but <clears throat> but yeah, don't sleep on the other two, right? There's also like a Celio down here, which can beat Noctowl and also beat War Rain, so that's worth a look. But it's mainly going to be those those three: your Regirock, your your War Rain, and your Regice. We've talked about dragons being super super safe because there's no Dark types in this meta. Ghosts are actually very safe as well, and We've basically narrowed slot 3 down to these three Pokemon. Your Jellicent, Frostlass, and Cofagrigus. And Sylph have been clever because they've set it all up in a way that you can only have one of these Pokemon on your team of six, and it has to be in slot 3 because they've banned Frostlass and Jellicent specifically in the Ice Water slot 1, and they've banned Ghosts completely in slot 5. So each of these three has different advantages, just as examples... Jellicent can beat Wall Rain very hard. Frostlass has great matchups against Noctowl. Hoffagrigus can actually beat the other two ghosts. So, like, they can all do other things, but that's just an example of what they can do. So you have to make some tough decisions there. But, again, like, we've narrowed it down to those three to make it a lot easier to process. There is a cheeky extra little one here, Gloom and, and Victory Bell, specifically the Shadow types with the Razor Leaf. If you can avoid a Noctowl, those two have play. The Razor Leaf has play. And the Dragons. You have to avoid the Dragons as well. Uh, let's see. Because Noctowl and Ghosts are going to be so prevalent, it makes fighting a bit tougher to use. But the fighting types, if you can fit one on your team, will be really nice against the Regirocks, Regices, and Wall Rains that will be countering the Noctowls. So there's probably going to be a pretty big triangle between the Noctowl the ice slash rock and the the fighters, I guess, if people are brave enough to bring fighters on their teams. But the the fighters aren't ranked that high. So we've got the highest ranked is Gallade at 27. The next highest ranked is Shadow Machamp at 42. Now they both have win conditions against Noctow, so that is you know worth noting. And Gallade with the Leaf Blade and close combat combination like that, that can hit a lot of things for super effective. So definitely work, worth a look. We've got Stunfisk, which beats Noctowl quite hard. And we've got your Mud Boys, your Swampert and your Whiskash. Down here, you've got Cradilly, which can do similar things to Regirock, uh, but also beats your 
water types that aren't also ice very comfortably. So like if, if we find mud boys are really, really popular, then Cradilly could be an option there to counter that. So that is it for Vanguard Cup. Let us know what you plan to use in your team. If you've got any other spicier picks that are worth looking at and good luck with your Silverina factions battles.